get into it. So uh, second thing that's going up out in these streets, California. So Gavin Newsom, uh, in my opinion, is largely the worst governor in the United States of America. Uh, they say that gas prices is going up and the cost of living in California is continuing to explode, even though they have an exodus of people leaving the state. Make sure you hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Let's get it popping. The summer travel season kicks off on Memorial Day. Consumers are definitely looking at higher summer gasoline prices as demand increases, as well as a built-in two-cent gas tax increase in July. KTVU's Tom Baker looked at where we are at the pump. It's a tale of two gas stations, two blocks apart. The cash price at the 76 station in Orenda is $5.39 a gallon, but at the MASH Gas and Food, it's $4.89, a half buck cheaper. For the folks we met, that makes MASH where they spend their cash. It's at least 50 cents cheaper here. Over the years we've covered this station, it has always had a good audience, and simply because they try to pass the savings on to consumers, not themselves. There are several um, low-income senior buildings, and it really helps us out. In a, even though we live in Arinda, we're low-income seniors. I'm selective where I get my gas from, for one thing. Like I come to this gas station going back and forth through Fiddletown and San Francisco. One man says it's all about too much government. One example, a coming carbon tax that might add as much as 50 cents a gallon, possibly next year, to fight climate change. People that are running the state right now and the regulations associated with the gas prices, mm -hmm. uh, and I just, I don't like it. The nationwide average price for a gallon of regular gas is $3.62, eight cents more than a year ago. California's average price, $5.29, 49 cents more than a year ago. The average Bay Area price is $5.45, 59 cents more than a year ago. Are y'all literally, are y'all seriously paying, hold on, y'all paying $5.45 for a gallon of gas? Nationally, and which I think that that's more accurate here in Michigan, we probably pay more like $3.50 a gallon. California on average is paying $5.29 a gallon and $5.45 a gallon in the Bay Area. Ain't the Bay Area the mo one of the most depressed areas over in California? Are y'all seriously paying almost $6 a gallon for, cal for gas in California? Jesus Christ. All right, so let me ask y'all another question. Then. Since we just gonna get into the thick of things and we trying to understand what the logic is for the people that's over there in LA, because I will be doing a Patreon meetup over there. <laughs> Unfortunately, I gotta come and see my people. Listen, the bag chasers in Cali is awesome, so I got to come and show up for y'all. However, when it comes to the rest of y'all over there in California, why y'all so hell-bent on gas cars and y'all can't even afford them? Don't y'all know that all of those extra tax, all of them extra taxes that they put and stuff on, on that money, it goes into the California state legislator coffers and then they mismanage the money and throw the money away and throw it into the air and in the sky? If anybody should be advocating for more electric vehicles, and we're going to get into that later in the show, it should be y'all. Because y'all can't even afford to breathe. Look, somebody just getting a, a Tesla Model Y alone and sleeping in their car like that young girl that we reviewed the video of yesterday is beating y'all out 10 times out of 10. Dog, do you know how much additional monies it costs y'all to just exist in California with $5.45 a gallon and going up every single month. That's crazy. Y'all paying European prices. Jesus Christ. That's insane, bro. And y'all having uh, rolling brownouts, said your mama. Y'all ain't even got a stable, stable grid and infrastructure. Good God. That's insane, bro. More than a year ago. Using the current Bay Area price, a round trip drive to South Lake Tahoe from Oakland is 364 miles. An average Californian's car now gets 31 miles a gallon, the best in the nation. But that round trip, Tahoe Adventure, 
is going to cost you $64 in regular gas, and that's at least seven yeah, bucks I more even premium. than a year ago. An 800-mile round trip to Disneyland will cost $140 for regular gas. That's at least $15 more than a year ago. But is that enough to seriously affect summer travel? I think a lot of us will travel no matter what. We just start to weigh the price of flying versus driving. I mean, if it's close enough, people are going to fly, I, I think. I know I I, I read a story about a student where the housing was so expensive, expensive over in California, a college student, the housing, the cost of living, cost of groceries, driving a car, all of the taxes, the insurance and everything was so high in California that the student actually would fly to school once a week. They would actually take a round trip flight back and forth to school on a plane from wherever it is that they lived outside of California because it was cheaper to do so. Y'all think I'm capping. Y'all think I'm capping. I'm going to find a story. I'm going to find a story, and then we can go from there. I will. The AAA projects 43.8 million travelers will head 50 miles or more from home over the Memorial Day holiday period. And that's just money just going straight into the coffers. Let's go about, let's because I want to go into the Bay Area real quick. Let's, let's talk about the Bay Area and the cost of living in the Bay. We know it's tough to make it in the Bay, Terry, but a new report spells out exactly how much money you'll need to make to live comfortably in the largest cities in the Bay Area. NBC Bay Area's Marin Favreau is in San Jose with these new numbers. In San Francisco, the median rent in February was $3,276 a month. Now a new report by Consumer Affairs spells out how much renters need to earn to live comfortably in the city by the bay. San Francisco tops the list in the Bay Area at $131,000. That's crazy. Um, that's the minimum income in they order literally to price out the live a comfortable class. lifestyle. After looking at median rents, a report also found you'd need to earn more than $124,000 to live comfortably in San Jose. Let's look at these trash cities that don't even have a really good police presence. To live a relatively comfortable life. They didn't say that you was going to be living extravagant, that you was going to be going over to Rodeo Drive occasionally that you was going to be taking multiple trips to Disney World. They just saying for you to comfortably feed your face, not necessarily staff your retirement or anything like that, because you got to remember, California taxes is the highest in the nation. California and New York. California and New York taxes is the highest in the nation. They didn't tell you you was going to live a phenomenal life. They said to just live relatively comfortable. $131,000 in San Francisco. San, San Jose, one hundred twenty. dollars Now remember, the average household income in the United States of America is less than $70,000 a year. That's everybody inside of the household. Fremont, 117. The only place that you can go to inside of California that's worthy of you even being able to think about living a decent life as far as comfortably financially is Oakland. And Oakland is considered one of the places that everybody is trying to get away from. The A's move. The Raiders got the heck up out of there. In and out left. In and out left Oakland. That's how, how bad they say it is over there. And this is what y'all doing. Look, I know y'all think I'm crazy. Listen, this is the student. Ten months ago, I looked at a story. I never even reviewed it. The dude was flying to school because it was cheaper than actually getting housing over in California. Sharon Micah, when you get an affordable apartment in L.A., you got to keep it because it's hard to find. Remember the rent is too dang high party from New York back in 2005? This kid is so smart. He did the math, figured out how much it would cost and said the rent may be high, but I'm taking my commute a bit higher. I'm like crazy. I'm insane because the schedule is like super brutal. Bill is a transportation engineer. Bill has an affordable apartment in Los Angeles. But when he was accepted into his dream master's program at Cal Berkeley, he made it an immersive experience. He commuted to class by plane. I wake up around 3.30 in the morning. LAX to SFO at 6 a.m. Then I will take BART, which takes an hour up to downtown Berkeley. Then I will take a shuttle to campus to get to my team class. Class, lunch, office hours, back to the airport. I will reach home around mostly 10 p.m. sometimes. Three days a week for nine months. 
it takes a lot of, I think, self-discipline commitment, my passion in transportation to make it work. Dude was, dude was basically, it's cheaper for the dude to fly. He lived in an affordable apartment, I guess a, some form of affordable housing. And it was cheaper for the dude to fly to class than it was for him to actually live there, live, work, and play all in the same area. This is the California that Gavin Newsom has created for you guys. 117,000 in Fremont and about 99,000 in Oakland. Oakland is the only Bay Area city that does not require a six-figure income um, in order to live comfortably. Even Eric the Daniels said he don't know how to fix California. You know it's bad. On the federal government's affordability threshold that people not pay more than 30% of their income on rent. But in San Jose, people we spoke with say the survey numbers seem a little low. I think at least I'll better stop doubting me. Maybe to live, start living comfortably. Um, I mean, just considering like how much we make and how much we have to spend just to be comfortable. Uh, I mean, just food and groceries, daycare, uh, just, just so many costs right now. But not as many costs as New York, at least not according to this survey. The analysis of the nation's 125 largest cities found the Big Apple required the highest income in the nation to live comfortably. <laughs> and it got rats. And, and they got rats over there in the Big Apple. Report found the California city where you would need the highest income in order to live comfortably was not San Francisco or San, San Jose, but Irvine. Irvine. Here in the Bay Area, some who aren't earning six-figure salaries say they're still finding ways to make it in the Bay. I kind of live okay, but that's because I live with my parents. What has she got in her mouth? Is that a um, retainer? Anyways, shout out to the Bay for running it up on y'all and making sure that they take advantage of all of y'all Mondays. Gas prices is high, rent is high, weather is bad, taxes is high, and they just continuing to take advantage of y'all. Uh,